the Far Cry series has always been a, another series that I've been fond of. Um, I know this pretty much is a running theme. I love a lot of video games, and it's not many that I do dislike. I just love gaming in general, but nevertheless, Far Cry, uh, the series has just been a really decent for the most part. Um, I wasn't really a big fan of Far Cry 4, but uh, even though the games have been decent, the actual format is pretty much the same somebody gets kidnapped or you know something of the sort and you have to save your friends or you have to go around finding things to uh retrieve uh pieces of property to build up your your bases and whatever the case may be it is it, one of those games that as actually can be really fun if you really get into them um far cry 6 is about to release and this uh is really interesting about this uh, particular uh, entry into the series because this game is going the political route um, and I know some people are you know want to keep po politics out of games you have a handful of people that don't mind and it, to me long as it's not in your face and nothing like really crazy like I don't have a problem with it and, and for example like you're trying to push an agenda or anything it's not like I'm against it. It's just it, it turns me off to actually uh, play it. But nevertheless, there was an article about this and the developer, uh, I think one of the developers, the main one, I think is Navi Kavadi, actually said that this story in this game is political. It's about uh, what a modern revolution should be or must be. And this is pretty interesting because it's on an island that is kind of parallel to like what Cuba could be and is talking about uh, a family who is escaping the communist uh, regime that's on that island. And I, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing about it is they're not trying to make a unnecessary political statement with the game, but they're just telling you that the game itself is political. It's going to be pushing a lot of politics and things that are that is within politics and um like i said i don't necessarily have a, a problem with this because if it's telling the story a right way about life and how things are when it comes to politics or the political aspect of your conditions i have no, very little problem with that like i said if it's a thing that it pushes things into your face and it's trying to make a a, a statement off of a uh, uh, actual agenda then those are the type of things that i kind of you know i to me like i said i stay away from because to me it is, it's kind of just a turn off i'm not against it it's just something that i'm not really in for uh another thing about this they said that they actually went down to cuba which like i said is kind of parallel to cuba they went down to cuba to actually uh speak with guerrilla fighters who fought back in those times when they were fighting back against the regime and that's another thing that I like about, you know, certain games that actually try to get the most authenticity about it. And this is one of the things why I'm interested in this because some some companies are afraid to do this type of stuff where it gets really deep down into, you know, politics, or whatever the case may be. I think Call of Duty has tried to do it, but they towed the line a little bit. There's some controversy about um, the Medal of Honor series, how that went down, but this is really interesting because uh this the the company ubisoft is letting them do this and i, I really think this is going to be i'm not sure if it's going to be groundbreaking but it's something that is it, to me i think it's actually uh unique because like i said you had other games that tried to do this with agenda base but this is actually going to be um going into uh the actual politics of a situation. I think one of the closest games I remember that did this was uh, Homefront. I think the first Homefront was pretty interesting with this type of uh, line of of a regime is taking over or trying to escape a regime or fighting back against a regime. So, um, and I think this one is going to be. Uh, it, I think this was going to be pushing the issue even harder because. They said that uh, they will have hard rele relevant discussions about the conditions that led to the rise of fascism in this nation, the cause of imperialism, forced labor, and the need for free and fair elections, LGBTQ rights, and more. So that they're pretty much trying to cover everything under the sun when it comes to politics uh, in this game. So uh, 
like I said, I, I think this is going to be really interesting when, you know, you have with the, uh, with the plight of politics right now, you know, with everything going on and a team that's actually willing to go there and push this type of um, scenario on gamers. Um, I don't know how people will take it, but from what I see, it, this actually kind of has me interested. Uh, one thing is um, another thing about what they said, like the goal was to empower our team to be fearless in the story we're telling. And we worked incredibly hard to do this over the last five years. We also try to be very careful how we approach our inspirations, which include Cuba, but also other countries around the world that have experienced political revolutions in their histories. So they're kind of trying to toe the line with give you a fictitious um situation in their game but it is uh lined up with realistic situations in the world today and i'm not saying that all games should do this but this right here actually has me really intrigued to see how close or how you know they told a line because um, like I said, there's a lot of companies that are kind of afraid to go this far into um, po politics in gaming. Like, at some, a lot of people try to get it, uh, they try to get it twisted with agenda base. But this one is actually, maybe it does have some type of agenda behind it. I don't know the entire game, but based on what they're putting in it, it just seems like they're going to actually, um, you know, go, they're, they're actually going to go there with how things are and certain conditions are in a country like i said i think the closest one that actually did it was uh home front the first one not the second one and it's gonna be pretty um you know i want to know how further they're gonna go from home front because home front was pretty uh intense at one point how they were going against the regime on that on that game uh also that they're gonna have a, 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 a authoritarian leader sorry about that uh anton castillo so that's you know that's kind of pushing it when they're talking about uh you know i don't know that's gonna be kind of interesting with the name right there how that's gonna be really close to that but i don't want to get too much into the story like who names or whatever but i just want to get into the the to the umbrella of the of the game with where it's going so um i'm not really sure i like uh, far cry 5 i thought that was pretty good and I think I'm going to probably buy this one day one because um, I'm just interested on where this game is going to go. Because with this type of storyline, it's going to be um, a little different compared to... Uh, I think it's going to be a lot different compared to Far Cry 5. I mean, I, hopefully it is. I hope it's not like the same type of game where it's, it's formatted the same. We have to get territories or whatever. That's fun. But with this type of storyline, I don't see how this is going to work that way because this is about a family who is um escaping that regime not necessarily trying to take over things to get back at what's going on. i i don't know maybe maybe it is uh i'm not really sure but um i'm gonna you know see how this plays out what do you guys think are you guys gonna play another far cry this far cry number six uh, most of them are pretty much the same um, I think this one may be different. I'm not really sure. I hope it's not based on the same format because based on what I'm seeing and what I'm reading um, It looks like it's going to be a different type of game But let me know what you guys think. Are you going to play it or not? You're going to pass on it once again uh, Let me know down in the comment section if you like this video made it this far I really appreciate it hit that like button if you don't mind share this video let people know what I'm doing over here also if you want to subscribe to the channel and watch more uh, content like this, um, that will be great. I really appreciate you coming through and listening. So you guys have a blessed one. You guys be easy. You guys take care. Peace.